G'day everyone. Today we thought we'd cover this topic of how long do your socks last or why do your socks wear out? And even though there's a whole heap of reasons that add to the, the problem, uh, we'll cover a couple of topics here, a couple of points and hopefully that'll help out. So pretty well the big one today is that a lot of the socks are made, well, one size should fit all. So they don't actually fit properly for a start. Um, that's a, that's a bit of a big one, but as we move into, let's say even the, the best made sock with the best material, uh, best knitting structure, uh, we can still have some problems. But a couple of things to look at when you go shopping, have a look at the heel angle. You find that the, the straighter the sock becomes, the less likely it is to stay in the back of the shoe. So what might tend to happen as you start to walk, this not so very good heel might start to wriggle down and sit underneath and then you'll go to pull it back up and start again. So the sock movement is going to be a big one. Now, what is causing that movement? Quite often it's actually the shoes or not having the right thickness of sock to match the shoe. So you'll find that within that shoe, your foot might actually be sliding backwards and forwards. So for some of you, you're going to try and claw in with your toes uh, to stop that movement, but you'll find that under the front of the foot, you're starting to wear that out. Now, for other people, as you walk along, you might notice that every time you lift up, you're getting a tiny bit of lift inside the heel of your shoe. And if that's happening, that's a pretty good indicator that you're going to start wearing out the heel. So even with a reinforced heel, if that movement is happening in there, um, we can kill a sock quite quickly. And that's why going to a lace-up shoe, a shoe that really matches the thickness of the sock, will secure your foot inside and as we limit that movement, we actually extend the life of that sock from a couple of months to maybe a couple of years. The other thing, depending on the materials, people these days quite often end up with a, a synthetic or a mixture of sock. So we'll actually go to wash them at the end of every day because we're smelly. Going to a wool sock and air drying it, um, we may not have to wash that every single day. I know that might actually put off a lot of people out there, but for those of you that know the stinky feet thing, um, it's a quite good indication that we've got too much synthetic. Going to a good wool sock, dry them out, less washing, not putting them out in the sun all the time, it'll actually look after the fibres or the material, it'll limit the breakdown a bit as well. So that's just a couple of things. Uh, if you have any more questions, I've probably missed a heat. Yeah, send us an email or give us a call. So thank you for watching.